Welcome to the band, Jim. I'm just getting myself warmed up before I knock out a locomotion workout. You know, I don't see a lot of people training with resistance bands their locomotion movement patterns. And yet, those are the very movements that our body was designed around. So I'm not sure why we don't train that as much. You know, there's a lot of benefits to training locomotion with bands. First and foremost, it's going to work on your coordination agility, which in turn is going to also improve your dynamic balance. Well, guess what? How when we fall, it's locomotion movements that we're typically doing that we lose control of. So that's number one reason I want to go ahead and work on it. Number two, I want to maintain my walking strength. Yeah, walking is going to be something I want to do for a lifetime. I don't want to lose that. And yet, as we watch people age, it's walking that people start to lose all right, and struggle with. And once walking is taking away from you, man, life just doesn't become as much fun anymore because it's the one movement that we can just use to go from point A to point B and be able to do so many things in life that we enjoy. Another reason to go ahead and work on it is it's going to teach you how to slow down. Yeah, you know, slowing down is the number one reason we lose our balance. We, all, we aren't able to control our ability to slow down. Well, doing locomotion training under tension is going to teach us how to go ahead and improve that deceleration strength and stability, and I think that's critical. The last reason is, is it's just a great way to go ahead and work short or small space cardiovascular training, especially interval training. And again, you don't have to do it fast to go ahead and benefit from it. You know, it's very easy. You know, different ways that you can go ahead and train locomotion from a programming standpoint is just going ahead and working at spending one minute just going sideways and then going the other way and then spending one minute walking back and forth and just working on that coordination. All right, so that's just one way. You can work on doing quick bursts, and I'll take you through in a little bit how to progress yourself with locomotion, but you can do quick burst training for like 10 seconds or 15 seconds and then take a recovery. So short, uh, short work sets is another way to go ahead and do it. And if you want to go ahead and do long work sets where all you do is work on acceleration and just working on out and bring it on back, that's another way that you can work on it. So there's a lot of different ways to program in locomotion. Now, let's talk a little bit about setup first. Make sure that when, when you set the bands up, that you link them together. You should be doing locomotion training in nothing less than two bands linked together. Even three bands linked together is something I've been starting to do more of. But again, you need to have the space available to do that. But at least two bands linked together using a link strap is key. Another thing is make sure the band attachment point is lower because you're going to drop your center of gravity to go ahead and do a lot of these locomotion trainings. Therefore, you want the band to be attached lower so it doesn't ride up on you. Make sure the band is attached at your hips. Yeah, you want it attached right at your hip bone. Don't let it get up into your waist, all right, and rubbing across your waist. If it is up here, your band attachment point is probably too high. Now let's talk a little bit about progression. How do I start working locomotion? How do, what do I start when I wanna work with this? Well, very simple. I think the best movement to start with is backpedaling because you can go ahead and see yourself doing the movement. The band is in front of you and you can judge your distance very easily. I think shuffling, doing side step shuffling is the next place you wanna go. And then obviously you can go to forward. But again, I want you to hear this very clearly. I do not want you going ahead and walking out too far. And I definitely want you always, always, always to come back slowly. I do not want you to be pulling, being pulled back quickly. It's going to challenge your Achilles tendon. And at our age, any, any age over 40, your Achilles tendon is very susceptible to injury if the mechanism is correct. Well, guess what? If I'm coming back quickly, all right, I am stretching the Achilles tendon and I'm also contracting it at the same time at a high level of velocity. Perfect mechanism for going ahead and tearing or injuring your Achilles tendon. So no fast return. You can go out as quick as you want, but I want you always walking back. 
Another great locomotion drill, if you're going to go ahead and do forward positioning, is skaters or skipping. Those are two stationary movements. They're going to be less challenging on your Achilles tendon, and as a result, that you'll be able to tolerate them better. Now let's talk about how to progress it with regards to speed if you do want to progress yourself up to be going faster. First and foremost, you, I'm going to use the side shuffle movement pattern, but we're going to work at walking. Yeah, we're just going to work at getting our control with walking. You'll notice as I go out, I lead with my right foot. Now when I come back, notice where I've got my left foot. My left foot is out in front of me. It's not getting underneath me because it can't help me there. It's got to learn how to stay out in front of me. All right. Same thing with backpedaling. You're going to always keep your feet out in front of you. So now you've got walking down. Well, what's next? Well, the next thing you want to do is work on being fast going out, slow coming back. So you can work at being a little faster going out, pause, and then work your way back. That pause allows you to set your feet and control it so this foot gets started first. So that's very important to add that pause in. So you can do what we call acceleration only. And you can work that as fast as you want. From there, I like to preload the band by stretching it, work backwards, and then go out. And then reload backwards, and then go out. So I'm starting to work on being a little quicker coming back, but I'm doing it in a very short amplitude of movement. As I get stronger, I'll step out a little bit further and try to work a little bit more deceleration fast and then go back out. So what I'm gonna do is preload the band and I'm gonna work deceleration because I can think of it. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and work short amplitude out and back. So I'm gonna go quick and I'm gonna work back. Short amplitude. So I'm not going to go through very much of a distance, which will keep me safe. Over time, as I get stronger, I'll find myself working more and more through a bigger amplitude of movement. Just let it happen and naturally happen. So there's your progressions. Walking. Acceleration only. Then work on deceleration first, acceleration following. And gradually build your speed up with your deceleration. Start short amplitude first, then go longer amplitude when you're going deceleration first. And then from there, go acceleration, deceleration in a short amplitude, and then go ahead and gradually build that out as you feel comfortable. There you go, guys. Now, let's get you doing some locomotion training, all right? You'll find it's a great way to go ahead and build in just a fun workout. Make sure your bands are set up accordingly. You don't have to go with big bands. I typically use black medium bands or purple large bands. But I make sure also that I have a distance marked out and I stay within that distance. Remember, with a two linked up band system, you have about three and a half yards to cover. So there's one, there's two, and I haven't even gotten close to my third one. So really guys, you don't need a lot of distance when you're working locomotion training with two, two linked up bands. All right, that said, get after it. Start enjoying some locomotion training. Build it into your workouts. Start walking, get used to that. I'll put some workouts out there in the near future so you can see how I train locomotion. In the meantime, let's get you rolling with that. Let's get your balance, coordination, agility going so you know what? You're working on the very movement patterns that are gonna allow you to enjoy things you love doing each day.